YouTube, this is Mike here with Patriot Coin Rings. Uh, okay, so I got a really great tip for, for you today. Uh, it's going to be on how to protect not only your coins itself from marring your, uh, during the uh, work process, but also how to protect your tools. And what I have here is a little kit that we send out. Uh, it comes with uh, two packs of uh, alcohol sterilizing uh, uh, cleaners. And uh, so you can clean up your tools before using them. And this is an aerospace uh, technology uh, impact resistant tape. It's uh, very thick. It's 45 mils thick. Uh, as you can see, it's nice and well padded, but it's impact resistant. And uh, it really, really holds up to a lot of impact, uh, a whole lot better than, than the conventional methods that we normally use, whether it be paper towels or I've used cloths and, and a number of different things when you're putting it, especially like on your ring uh, mandrels. And uh, when you're, if, if you're used to that, when you start stretching them out, you'll notice that it'll actually cut straight through and you gotta keep doing it over and over um, because it just doesn't want to hold uh, and, uh, without, without cutting it up. Uh, now, you can buy the urethane pads for like wobbly uh, rings on, online, but these tend to not hold up as well and it's a whole lot more expensive. I'm not saying that this is a stronger material than the urethane, um, but what I am saying is this is, a, this is a whole lot less expensive than this. And as you can see, um, I mean, it just tears right up usually just with a single press of a coin. Uh, so you can extend the life of these of the urethane pads as well. So I'm going to show you uh, first, you know, how we could use this on a couple tools. Uh, first, let's go with the mandrel. We're going to go ahead and we got this all the way back shut. And let's go ahead and measure it up for size. So, and again, you're going to get, in the pack, you're going to get 24 inches uh, by 2 inches of this uh, aerospace material. It's enough to get, uh, to wrap a uh, ring mandrel about three times, or cover all your tools, and have some excess left over for anything that you uh, may want. So, I'm measuring mine right down to the very bottom, just to the top of the mandrel. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that to length now. Wait one second. Okay. Now that I've got this all the way pulled back, let's go ahead and clean this up with one of your alcohol pads. And remember that this is going to, um, it's not uncommon for most of these to be plated with a nickel plating or a chrome plating. And don't be surprised if some of the uh, chrome plating comes off. That just happens whether you're just using it uh, on a daily basis or... Uh, with your when you're stretching your rings, it just kind of just comes off. And there's not a whole lot you can do about that, but you definitely want to clean it up. Uh, I just got I clean mine on a regular basis, and you can see that I mean uh, all the shavings and stuff that come off on there, and you want to get as much of that as possible off of there. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more wipe. Otherwise, if you're uh, if you don't let it stick well enough, you may end up having to replace it with with your uh, tape. Okay, so excuse me, I'm just gotta dry that off a little bit. All right. Now here's the length that that we cut, and you can see I got tons left over. If I wanted to go two or three three plies more. Go ahead and peel off one side of the tape. Try to follow the line. Uh, you'll, you'll see there's four splits all the way around a uh, typical mandrel. Follow the line of one right to the top. Just like that. And now I'm going to wrap it all the way around after that. Kind of chase it back around. Alright. Now what you want to do is go ahead and push it all the way back so that way I'm actually opening up the mandrel 
and I'm going to go ahead and cut it with a razor along those lines. On the section, you'll get a section right at the top that will do a double overlap. Just go ahead and take that little piece off so that you have just a single ply. And you'll be able to see that it actually opens and closes with the pull of the rod. So now you have a completely protected mandrel that, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and demonstrate. Let's put, the, put this ring down as far as I could get it and I'm, I'm gonna really push hard <laughs> get out of there hard oh, okay and take a look barely put a dent inside of it so if you want to be able to protect your mandrel and at the same time be able to protect the whole inside of your your ring uh, the aerospace uh, tape is an awesome way to go. Okay, so now, now that I've protected my, uh, uh, my mandrel, uh, there's a number of other tools that you could also use to protect. Uh, for instance, on your vise, we typically have a, uh, an anvil plate. And on the anvil plate, it's another really good area for us to go ahead uh, and, and prep because typically you'll, you'll take a, a ring like this. And let's see, let's get a... Uh, what do you like your nylon mallet and a lot of times when they're lopsided uh, you'll you'll set these to the side kind of like angle them like this and use your nylon mallet to, to get it back in shape right um, obviously that's metal on metal and it's gonna ding it up and you got to polish all that out and try to get that all cleaned up but you can really protect it by just simply cutting yourself a piece of the impact resistant tape and protecting that area. So I'm gonna go do that. Might as well get all my tools while I'm at it. Let's get an alcohol wipe, we'll clean that up real good. Uh, Cause that's got a lot of rust on there and go ahead and clean that up. Okay. About your uh, wobble, uh, coin wobble tools. Uh, most of you guys know that you got uh, two steel plates uh, that will typically come in a wobble set, and then a nylon uh, piece of nylon. Usually, they give you just a tiny little square if you if you bought this before. Um, that when your coin is out of place, you put it on there like that. You use your vinyl and and next piece of steel, and then you put put it on your six ton press and it helps press it back into place. Problem is, like I said, uh, this is pretty expensive stuff and it starts to tear on you. And to prevent that and make that last longer, what you do is go ahead and put a 45 mil of impact resistant on each plate. So I've got one on there. Let's go ahead and do this one. Clean this up with a little alcohol. Measure it up for size. Fill off the backing, and we're going to put that one on. Now, if you want it to be thicker, you can. Uh, you can go ahead and put put you know two three layers on there. Uh, each layer is going to be forty five mils thick. Uh, so feel free to do it as thick as you want. And then all you do is just cut off the back side. Pull 
one of these days I hope to have a shop with a little more room to work with. But uh, for a hobby, it's fun. I mean, I got I got enough right now. Okay, so so we got that all taken care of. So now I've got two wobble ring um, pieces of steel that are protected. That I could go ahead and go like this, get my coin, put it put it in there, and I know that it's protected without being direct steel on steel. What about your um, your six ton press? I mean, you know, they typically come. They typically come with these solid steel bars. You can put, go ahead and put some tape on here um, to give them protection. Uh, there, there's a number of different things that you could do uh, with this tape to protect a lot of your tools. And, um, and uh, it's really up to you on how you use it. Uh, but there's, there's just a number of things that you could use. Uh, whether you want to, I could use thinking off the top of my head, uh, on these dies, uh, it'd be a really good idea to go ahead and put that on the end of each one of these dies, which actually, after I videotape this, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, because to have padding on the end of each one of these dies, again, I'm just protecting my coins. Normally, you know how you put the Teflon all the way around your coin and you have to make sure that you overlap. And if any of you guys have ever experienced this, when you go to uh, put the press on the six-ton press and you push down uh, on the Teflon tape, the Teflon comes right off as soon as you pull the, the first die off. Um, or push rod, I should say. I'm sorry. Uh, as soon as you pull the push rod out, uh, the Teflon comes right off. And then you have a bunch of bare uh, uh, reading on the top of your coin. And you have to keep taking that out, putting more Teflon on over and over. But if I go ahead and I put I put this uh, impact tape uh, on here, I'm not going to have to do that anymore. So you can just imagine all the different things that you could use this impact tape for, and I give you plenty of it. Like I said, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you 24 inches of it. Uh, that's two inches wide. Most people are giving away only an inch wide. This is real extra thick. This is this is two inches wide by 24 inches. Uh, so it's the equivalent of 48 inches of what other people are given. Uh, I sell it very inexpensively if uh, and if it's sold for less somewhere else let me know and and I'll hook you up uh, but but uh, I I started using this on on my machines and I thought you know this is a good idea for me to go ahead and show you a little tip that I just learned just this week and uh, that I really like and it's worked, been working really well for me and like I said, just even coming through here and thinking about new things like like putting them on the uh, on the push rods. That, I mean, those those are fantastic things to have this for. Um, I'll go ahead and include the alcohol wipes and everything inside the pack, so you get everything all together. Go ahead and uh, uh, if you I can't really advertise on on YouTube, so I'm not going to do that. This is supposed to be a tip, uh, trick you know, tips and tricks type type video, and that's what this is really intended for on YouTube. But if you want to know where to get it or how to do that, you could always go ahead and send me a message or just go ahead and uh, post the question down below in, in the uh, description below in, in uh, YouTube, and I'll give you a direct link to it. So um, that gives you, gives you something to, to look at. Anyways, that's today's uh, tips and tricks, and, and hopefully you appreciate that because that's going to really help out a lot, and it's going to keep your coins from getting all dead dinged up and dented and, and your tools are going to last a whole lot longer. So hopefully you appreciate that. And, and that, uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe down here below. There's a, should be a subscribe box right here that you'd be able to click. Uh, really appreciate all the sub subscriptions that I get and, and all the likes on the video. And uh, hopefully this helps you out today somehow uh, uh, if you're in the hobby. Uh, so thanks a lot. And I really appreciate you visiting to watch one of our videos. Uh, continue on and keep on watching more. All right. So thanks. You guys have a wonderful day. From my Patriot Coin Rings. Take take care. Uh, uh. Uh. Subscribe.